Just like last year, we have already confirmed ourselves as the champions of the Skybet League One. Um, well, last year it was the League Two, but you know what I'm trying to say here. And also, we are still pushing for the top goal scorer award and record breaking stuff, as the record for most points in a season is 103 and the most wins is 32. We are one point away from breaking that record and two wins away from breaking the win record. Can we get back to back promotions with back to back titles and back to back record breaking performances? I, I'm pretty good at this game, aren't I? Hey guys, and welcome back to the 20th episode of the FM22 Salford City Road to Glory with me. Raxo FM, where today we are playing our final two games in the league campaign, which at first don't seem like they mean a lot, but as I have said before, records can be broken here, and I want to do exactly that by beating Bolton and then Forest Green, two very good sides in this division. Bolton, unfortunately, down in 20th place, but Forest Green all the way down, down in 14th. Okay, I really did think they were actually around that playoff position area, but apparently not before we jump into today's episode please make sure that you do smash the like button as well as subscribing to the raxel fm youtube channel honestly tonight might be the night that we crack a thousand subscribers um, i i might cry i'm, I'm not joking I, i'll be so psyched if it does so if you haven't clicked it already please genuinely do click that subscribe button it means the world to me and it means the world to my bank account i need to make money boys and girls come on let's do it can we please also smash 10 likes on today's video to show me that you still love the sulfur save you want to see the content every single day and you want to continue winning the titles just like we have let's celebrate for a second about that boys and girls we managed to win the title for two years in a row with an incredible margin of victory here what are we in terms of a football club we're incredible, that's what we are boys and girls. Since last time we saw each other, nothing but wins. I've well and truly gotten us back on track and I'm hoping that we end the season with two more wins and some awards for our players. But without any further ado, let's jump into simulating forward and hopefully winning another football match. This is the team that we're going with, a very strong 11, our main 11, and uh, you'll notice that Robson is unhappy. Yeah, people keep asking for new contracts because we're now in the championship, so they want more money. It's really annoying because, um, yeah, I th they just get unhappy when I don't give them the money. And I think I've re-signed Kovar already. I've definitely re-signed Drahir. Well, it might not be confirmed just yet because he was complaining and it created a big issue. But Robson, it, d it didn't create so much of an issue, but I would actually like to sign him again. I think someone else came to me, but... I probably just said no in the oh Le Le Lever Lever she uh, Lish Lisha Bella uh, the, the, the guy the guy from Leicester we got I said no I just said no I'm not paying him like ten grand is what he wanted he is not that good he doesn't even start for us I, there's no way I'm paying him that kind of money boys and girls but early on in this game we are looking like we could have an opportunity I completely ignored the first chance of the game but you know I'm back at it again for the second one so yeah it's not about how many mistakes you make in life it's how you learn from those mistakes and I made a mistake by not reporting on this highlight on the last highlight now I'm reporting on this one here we go Fagan Walcott smashing it forward it's not quite getting through the walker there and it does look like Bolton are on film on form today with another attacking opportunity just after three minutes and they've gone two shots to our zero and we've seen both of their highlights so immediately they're showing that they've got a wee bit about them but is it going to be enough to get, win them this game i really don't think so but i would like to see us uh, not concede a goal score three or four goals and and just make this a convincing win and we could start it off with a goal from walker and i also want him to be scoring because i want him to win the golden boot boys and girls he's not far away from confirming that probably one or two more goals should do it but he's not going to win it if he's met what well, he could still win it even if he misses all the rest of his chances because you know other people just might not score but i would like him to win it by scoring a couple more goals in today's episode i've just realized it's still doing the stupid thing where it puts it on my formation i haven't even looked at the bolton formation and it is actually pretty good to counter exactly what we're doing and they have done a really good job of countering exactly what we're doing so far in this match so i'm going to say i'm far from pleased with the performance we will not be breaking the record for most wins in a season unless we win both of these final two games so 
I'm really hoping we get that done in today's match to make sure that we do at least have a chance of doing it in the second match and this attack could do exactly that. Smith, who has been very good for the side since coming in, plays it over to Rob, uh, Johnson, sorry, uh, plays it over to Toure eventually, not really plays it over, you know, just came to him and also came to Smith who really should have done better from that position. Very good chance on the volley, not the easiest of chances of all time but I would have liked to have seen it go on target. And I'm now going to make a substitution with the fact that we haven't scored or even created that insane of a chance in this match completely on my mind. So I'm going to bring Crowley on and Drahir has also not played that well. So we'll bring Cole back on for a bit of experience. He might have played against Bolton multiple times in his career. I wouldn't be surprised if he had. We've conceded though and that really annoys me because... um. I don't know if it was a chance before I started making tactical changes. So 1-0 down. 2-1 is what we need to be getting to win this game. And it doesn't really look like it's going to happen. In fact, a draw is looking unlikely at this point. Unless we score with this chance. Not with that throw. Not with that throw. Okay, Dixon collects it. He's going to clear it long. We're going to win the knockdown though. Yes, there we go. It hasn't come to our player though. And now they're attacking us again. But we've gotten it straight back. There we go. Alfie Jones into Colback. Over into Crowley. Got the fresh legs. He's got the pace. Does he have the pass? He's got the momentum. That's all he needs. He's got the dribbling. Does he have the pass at the end? He doesn't have the pass. But Walker's tapped it in because the goalkeeper is an idiot. And put it straight into his path. And now we could actually win this game. Walker getting the goal that he needed to hopefully secure him as the top goal scorer this season as well. So a lot of good things going on in this situation. And best of all, being Dixon's mistake to lead to a goal. Come on, let's get another chance. Let's get another goal. And let's confirm ourselves as the best team to ever live in the League One. Because, you know, we'd, we'd break, break the points tally if we win in today's match. But I also do want to break the win total for a club in the League One. You know what I'm trying to say here? I'm focused on the competition records. Oh, that one was very close to going on target. But it hasn't, luckily... I'm going to make my last substitution. Henderson's coming off. Richards is coming on. And we're going with two up front. And you know what? We're going with two advanced forwards. Because, I don't know, they just both work well in that role. So why not put them on it together? You know, that, that stands to reason. And there's one last chance. Is it going to be a winner? Dixon plays it long. Fagan Walcott winning the header. Giving them a great chance. And Kovar does come out with a brilliant save. But unfortunately, I do think that is all she wrote for this one. Unless we score a goal within the next couple of minutes, obviously, there's not going to be any upset here. There's not going to be any win. Well, actually, to be fair, the fact that they have even gotten a draw is actually an upset. But there is one last chance. Let's win the knockdown. Fagan Walcott, come on, man. You're, you're annoying me. And uh, that's that's got to be all she wrote now. I think we're going to see this throw, and I think we're probably going to see the full-time whistle. Yep. Okay, that's just rubbing salt into the wounds. Thank you very much, foot football manager. I don't need to sit here. I don't need to watch this highlight. If they score, I'll be absolutely gutted as well. Thomas, moving it in. Toure collects it. We're going to play it forward, but I think the full-time whistle was about to be blown, so I don't think this chance matters all that much, but I'm going to get slightly hyped because it could be a goal. Crowley, that's just not where you blow the full-time whistle. Sorry, ref. I mean... I'm quite annoyed about that. Come on, like a pass back to our player, a whip into the mixer. You never know what's going to happen. Maybe their goalkeeper blunders it again. <sighs> Absolutely disappointed. So we have already drawn the record of points, but we have only got the opportunity to draw on wins. Let's see if we can do both by winning in the next match at home against Forest Green. A bit of a victory lap. Let's go do it with our boys. I know I always try and hype up games, but genuinely, this means a lot to me. I do really want to win because records, you know, I don't need to mention it again. I will mention it one more time. By the way, if we win this game, we break a record. This is the team we're going with, the exact same lineup as last time, except I will put Robson and Drahir switched around. And let's jump into it. Let's get into this game. A victory lap for a brilliant season. We drew our last one, of course, but can we win it? The break the points tally record and break the tally, well, actually equalise the tally of wins. So that, 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 it sounds less cool than at the start of the episode when I was talking about it. But, you know, points is still a very impressive thing to break, isn't it? You know, Smith in there, I can't score. I, re I talked good about you as well. Like, I, I talked good. That's English, isn't it? No, I, I said very positive things about you, mate. And now you're not really doing it on camera for me. And it... It does make me look like a bit of an idiot, but come on, I, you got a 6.8. It's, it's not all bad at the moment, just 
Let's pick it up, get an assist, do something in this game, and I'll feel a wee bit better about myself. In fact, otherwise you might be transferred out in the transfer window. Yeah, no, he's definitely not going anywhere. I paid £150,000 for him. It's like, it's like a record fee. I think it is. Oh, it might be. A, it might not be the club record fee, but it's, it's definitely my record fee in the in this transfer in this transfer embargo with with a uh, with Salford. What, what am I talking about? Transfer embargo? This isn't doesn't that mean transfer ban? I think that is. How have I? Yeah, no. We, we'll move on from those comments and just talk about the game. Eight minutes gone. Two shots to them. One shot to us. Two chances, and it's not looking that insanely good for us actually. I believe there's a couple of players in here that actually rejected moves to our squad and decided to join uh, Horace Green. I think they made the right decision, didn't they, boys and girls? All right, six shots now to their three, and another chance not going to be coming our way, though, is it's a free kick just outside of the box. I'd be disappointed if it goes in. Kovar does make a decent enough save to keep it out and keep us on level terms for the rest of this first half hopefully as johnson swings the ball in no one getting onto the end of it we have two big defenders in there like you know we're, we're heading the balls out left right and center we'll be fine in terms of corner kicks coming up against us hopefully in the championship that continues i'm nervous for the championship like i think that's normally the one that stutters you when you're going on a bit of a good run in terms of going up oh forget i had to talk about corners didn't i i had to talk about I had, i'm so dumb I'm literally, I'm actually quite mad at myself for that because I was cocky. I was cocky. And then they have literally just gone near post and um, d disregarded the fact that we have a bunch of tall defenders because they couldn't get to it because it was yeah, quite quite a good corner. And I really do want to draw this this record and at least break the record for the points. Like, come on. There, there's a, a bare minimum expectation for these last two games. It's a bit depressing if I've hyped it up that much and we don't actually do it. So, Drahir plays it into Henderson. Palmer, yeah, he knows how much this means to me. Plays it back into two. Ray Smith, it was a terrible header, but you've made me look slightly better for calling you a good player and you've made us go back onto level terms with 40 minutes of this football game left to go. So, there's a lot of time. Plenty of time for us to get back into it. I like the unselfishness from Palmer here. He knows there's nothing on. Puts it into Toure, and Toure puts it into Smith. Oh, McGee really should you really should save that. But we won't talk about it. We don't talk about it. We just move on and hope that we get another opportunity straight afterwards and score a goal straight afterwards as we pick... Oh, we don't pick it up, but... Oh, don't concede. Don't concede. Wilson down the right-hand side, swinging a ball in. Oh, for goodness sake. You had to... You really had to do that, didn't you, boys? Come on. Like, we're better at defending than that. We have Fagan, Walcott, and Jones. You're insane. You Both of you are ridiculous defenders. I don't need you conceding goals to players like Wilson and Matt. His name's literally Matt. That's his last name. That's not his first name. That's horrendous. Who's going to sign a player called Matt? It's terrible. Turnbull coming in for a bit of leadership. And, I, I, and you know what? I never should have taken him out. I regret my decision. Significantly. I think I think he's the catalyst for change in this game because as soon as I took him out of the squad in the last match, we started playing average, and now I think it's happened in this game, and I think it's the reason why we're not going to break the record. And I'll hold my hands up, boys and girls, and admit, yep, that was a poor decision from me. But it's not over till the fat lady sings, and we still have time as Walker goes through on goal, looking for a ball across the face, finds Henderson. Henderson wraps it, but doesn't get the curl on it. I really did think he was going to score there. He normally does score those ones, to be fair to him. But not today. And to be fair, this could be one of his last games in a Salford City shirt. At like 30, I don't know, 37 years of age. I imagine he's going to be retiring in a minute. And uh, I, I don't really have that much interest of playing him anymore. I'm going to make one last substitution. No, two last substitutions. And it's going to be Richards to come off. And uh, it is going to be, sorry, to come on. And Dan Crowley to come on as well. Because he, play, he played well in the last game. So we'll bring Henderson off. Palmer in there. Lewis over there. And move Crowley onto the winger and see what he can do. Hopefully get us a draw. Come on, if we get a draw, we're at least equally in the point, Sally. That's and I'll take that as be a minimum for this episode. I really don't want to lose our last game of the episode because that's slightly embarrassing, especially against Forest Green, who are down in 14th place. It's going to happen though, isn't it? I oh, for going to say we didn't break any records. How did I not break records? I really should have broken some records. All right, let's move on. Let's just go into the team review because that will be in a couple of minutes. And we'll do the, the season awards and tomorrow's episode because it took me ages to simulate forward to them last time. And to be honest, I can't really be bothered because I need to edit this video. I, I'm going to my parents for dinner in 45 minutes. So 
I, I need to edit this and it needs to be submitted for upload at 8.30, 8.30 in New Zealand, by the way, uh, and, and then ready for you guys when you wake up. Oh, for goodness sake, who's upset? I'm definitely not giving Le Chabelle a 10K. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. There we go. Let's move on to this and, and ignore the fact that any of my players are upset. In terms of new arrivals, I've completely ignored them, but I'm going back to talk about them because I, I must have double clicked. Fagan Walcott, once again, getting an A+. Plus. Jones getting an A+. Plus. Walker getting a C+. C plus okay with we are pleased to see that the minimum fee release course of 220 would mean an excellent deal for the club should it ever be triggered but I don't want that in there anymore he is a great player that concerns me that is that is being um removed as soon as I can get onto that so let's go back Lewis Smith given a B rating Callum Johnson given a B minus Kovar of course an A plus didn't actually make that many signs this year I'm, I'm pretty happy with them in, in, in general. Who's played well for the, the players that have gone out? Bambi, leaving the club. I mean, to be fair, they're all kind of dead ballers. I haven't really sold anyone that I thought was going to be an incredible signing for us. So you know, that's that's why I have sold them. Season results, of course, top of the league. And we don't need to talk about any other competitions. 5-0, our biggest win. Match to remember was a 4-1 win. And the best goal was a two-race goal against Blackpool, I think. I remember what that was. It was the one where he like stopped it, hit it into the top corner. If you were there, you know about it. Lesha Bella has a top shirt sales. I'm going to say, that really annoys me because he sucks. I really dislike him. Walker, Drahir, Robson and Crowley, the next ones. I, I can live with that. Walker, Palmer, Henderson, Crowley, Drahir, Johnson, Clark, Alfie Jones with Fagan Walcott and Toure and Kovar as our best 11. I'd say I agree with all of that. But I think Smith did enough in the time that he was here to warrant a place on the right hand side. But I, I can accept the fact that Crowley did play decent this year. But let's go on to the, the awards, the things that we all want to see over the season is of course Fagan Walcott once again young player of the season Fagan Walcott signing of the season goes to Alfie Jones with the goal of the season going to Toure top goal scorer Walker top assister Toure most player of the match awards to Alfie Jones highest average rating to Fagan Walcott and the most oh, who cares about that history in the making a remarkable season for Salford started superbly and never let up they are deservedly going up and we are going up who has been added into the best 11 Jones has taken over for Turnbull that is Harsh, Walker is in there now, Palmer's in there now as well. Who else do we have? Uh, we've got new players of two. Two race should have been at left back already. Um, oh no, I'm reading the wrong. So I, I think that's all the new additions to it. And I'm pretty happy with that. But what do they want us to do next year? I'm very fascinated by this. They want us to fight bravely. Oh my word. Okay, so they're expecting us to go straight back down. To be fair, I'm not surprised by that. I am not playing position football. That is not happening they want us to minimum two-year contracts yeah i can live with that of course actually I'd, I'd prefer to do that i'm not playing position football that is not my style oh for goodness sake i guess we're playing position football well i'm not playing position football i'm just going to you know talk about it and uh hope that we actually do get some so what what are we saying we have what are we, what are we saying for next year uh i'm going to give us no, I'm not going to say we'll probably go back down. Uh, I really think we can stay up next year. Or oh, oh, we'll probably come back down, but I want to you know that. Give, oh, well, I don't want to say that, but I feel like everyone's going to react positively. I'm going to say, how how unhappy are these guys about the club situation? Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about any promises, obviously. There we go. That's all we need to talk about. Nothing about cups. I love it. And I actually get to pick... We're going to North West England because, yeah, it's just cheaper for the club, isn't it? Well, even though it doesn't actually add any extra costs, I just feel like that's more realistic. But now we are ending today's episode, and I am begging you to subscribe to the Rex FM YouTube channel. If we're still not at a thousand subscribers, we will be, we will be back tomorrow for the awards and the season. Transfer special, I guess. Uh, 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 might not be tomorrow, actually. I might take a day off. Who knows? I might celebrate being a 1,000 subscribers. I hope that that happens by tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for the support on this series. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the championship.